4D Opening the Monsters Ink Door Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a little 4D, whoops, there we go, he's gone, little 4D Monsters Ink Door. So it's Boo's door and then you open it up and you can see Mike and Sully inside and we had Mike but apparently he belongs on the floor. I hope you guys like this design as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So I'm going to begin with an overlay of a pale pink acrylic, and that's one of the things that ties this video together with the other one that was Boo in the costume, is they have the same background color, which is a great, and they're the same shape, which just kind of ties them together, especially if you're going to be doing them on a set. If you did say, I wouldn't necessarily do these on the same hand if I were to be wearing them. If you actually do wear 4D nail art, I know some people do. So before anyone's like, these aren't wearable, some people do. So, you know, just throwing that out there. But you could do one on each hand was my thought. But I'm going to file this nail into shape with my e-file and I'm just going to go over it quick with a thicker bit or a stronger coarser. That's the word, a coarser bit to remove any bulk and then go for a finer bit to remove any of those little scratches that the first bit may have left behind. Especially since this nail has quite a bit of painting on it, that does help a lot. Now on a piece of paper, I'm going to be drawing out the shape of my door and then the shape of the door frame. Normally you don't necessarily have to do this, but you, know, you can just eyeball it. But since the door frame and the door have to fit together pretty well, you want them to have, you want to have like a little blueprint laid out so that you know exactly what you're doing. I'm going to start with the door frame and I'm going to do that with gray acrylic. So just sculpt that out. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure especially with this kind of a situation that you don't go over the lines if anything you want to be within the lines and so I know this is coloring within the lines oh my goodness but you just want to make sure because if they are bigger than you're drawing even slightly they're not going to fit together so you need to make them if anything smaller than you're drawing just a hint so go over that just like so I did the two sides and I connected them in the middle so just kind of lay the acrylic out and then press it in from side to side to make sure that it because as it's setting up it's going to get those nice straight lines easier add the top like I said so I did the sides and then go over the top and if you do do this and all of a sudden you get to the end and you're like oh my goodness this doesn't fit together one either the door frame or the door is too big you can go through with a little file and file the door would be easier to file just add a couple quick little runs of the file across the side and it'll shrink it down really quick it won't take too much effort but if you can avoid it that's always easier then I'm going to just slide my nail form backing over a pinch and I'm going to sculpt out my door with white acrylic on top of that and if you're wondering why I laid some acrylic down and then I swiped it off if you guys can tell my nail form backing has a little crease in it and I didn't realize that when I first started it and I was like oh no this thing has a crease in it I didn't want my door to have a crease so I decided I'd just start over same thing, make sure you're sculpting your door slightly within those lines just to make sure that it'll just make things easier in the end because you might not notice that it doesn't fit together until you've done all your painting and everything is basically complete. Then I'm going to glue my door frame to the nail and I'm going to glue two beads to my door frame. Two little, they're kind of a, I don't know, they're a silvery, they kind of remind me of caviar is what they look like, little, two little glass beads. And then I'm going to secure my door frame to the nail and the beads to the door frame with some clear acrylic. This just helps out the glue so the glue doesn't have to be the only source of only source of attachment here. The clear acrylic is much more secure. Let's add a little bit, make sure that the clear acrylic doesn't get too far into your door frame or into the door opening, because that'll interfere with your painting in the end. Then cut two little pieces of very skinny wire off. I'm just using a fingernail trimmers. And then I'm going to bend the wires into a U shape, still using my fingernail trimmers as a helper there, just like so. And then I'm going to take those little U shapes and string them through my beads on the door frame. So tweezers is a really good helper here. Just string those through. Those are the second part of your hinge. And then after you have those all laid out and they're nice and straight, that's kind of a key here. You wanna make sure that your pieces of wire lay nice and straight and stuff then you're gonna take and just stick a little bit of glue onto the ends make sure that you're not getting glue onto any part any other part of this nail so onto the nail or onto the door frame then set your door on top of those pieces of wire and hold them with a pretty firm pressure until the glue dries a minute give or take and then open that up and add some white acrylic over the pieces of the wire on the inside of the door so that once again the glue isn't your only source of attaching the two pieces together just like that Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then I'm going to be painting the design on my door. I'm going to paint the little 
paneling on the door with pink. Kind of tie this whole thing together with some more pink. So add four little lines in the center so that everything is spaced out. Continue the top two lines up, add little curves around at the top of the door. Add the two rectangles on the bottom underneath that just like so and the fun thing with Boo's door is that she's also got some little heart stickers on there so after you have your panels done with lavender and pink add her little hearts or not hearts flower stickers add her little flower stickers here and there and they are not at all symmetrical or evenly placed they're you know done like a little girl does add a three little black dots on the door frame and then a little black dot for the door handle Add some centers to your flowers with bright green on the pink ones and pink on the purple one. Glue a red rhinestone to that bigger center dot on the door frame. It's a little light. And then add a gold caviar bead on the door for the handle. And then inside, so open that door up, and inside you have the joy of painting Mike and Sully, which for me is the most enjoyable part of these two-part nail design is painting Mike and Sully. So I'm going to start with an outline. And I didn't paint them super realistic. Um, the way the cartoon is, the animation is done for Monsters Inc. It's got a more realistic appearance. You know, there's not too many outlines or anything like that. They are a little bit more of the modern animation style, but I wanted to have outlines and be really cutesy. So that is what I did here. Outlines first, fill in. I did one character and then the other. So I started out with Sully and I filled in his outlines with bright teal, added some white inside his horns, couple more outlines where they need to go do his facial features so on and so forth there's some his, his eyebrows his eyebrows you don't have to fill them in again but you do need to outline them at his eyes and his nose and of course a nice big smile fill in his eyes with some white add a little bit more details on his eyebrows and just give them some shading here and there and then with lavender same lavender that i used for the bows or oh my goodness for the flowers on boo's door i added his purple spots some stripes on his horns and then you can do the outlines of mike it's so funny so i don't know if you guys have been looking at this and i've had different um stuffed animals that melody has been holding in different intros like the cheshire cat was in a Cheshire Cat video that I had and then she was holding Mike in this video. If you guys are thinking, oh my goodness, this little girl is getting so many stuffed animals, what is she doing with them all? You are going to laugh because these are all mine um, or my mother's actually. The Cheshire Cat was my mom's, but the Mike was a stuffed animal that I don't know where I got, but I've just kind of had on a shelf for so long and after I did this design and it was in Melody's room, but I was rocking her to sleep one night and I was looking, I'm like, huh, she should be holding that guy in intros and I thought she would love him but apparently not. She thinks he needs to belong on the floor. You know, usually these things she sees and she's like, oh my goodness, I need to hold it. But this one, she's like, why do I want that on my lap? You know, she's got a mind of her own. But fill in Mike with some bright green. Add the outline for his eyeball, his smile. Add all of his cute little details. His smile's a bit more crooked than Sully's. Fill in that eyeball with white. With darker green, add his pupil. Give him some more shading couple couple shades of green give him some life in there a couple little teeth in his mouth gray for his horns and like I said green for his pupil or for his iris black pupil but add some darker green just like so and then apply a layer of gel sealer over the pink background so inside the door and then just around the edge cure that and apply some matte top coat over the door frame and the front of the door and that is it if you guys missed the tutorial for boo in her costume i will put a link to that in the description box below so check that out that one is also really cute i hope you guys like these as much as i do and don't forget to share recreations with me on facebook or instagram i would love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye